So do you sell quite a few platters uh, in your shows, or is it something that? Um, I don't make a whole lot of platters. Um, normally, because with my kiln, it tends to over nucleate. Um, I, I don't adjust the glazes at all, For which I probably should. But they do look good on, on a display. Yeah. It's nice it to have nice something variety. flat. Yeah. Well, the crystals have got nowhere to run to, so you just get a whole bunch of crystals in the plate. Whereas on a vertical, a lot of the crystals and you know the crystals will run off. <coughs> So to flatten it out, I just use the side of my hand and I really get my weight over it and really push that down. And I'll make sure that the outside edge here is always touching the back. You don't want it to mushroom out and fold over on itself. Um, I'd say a bit of both. I'm kind of really forcing it down on my arm, but I am getting my weight over it as well. So Matt, how thick are you going to lose the base now? Um, well, a little bit thinner than that. Okay. So probably three inches. If you, if you have a look at the back of it, do you want to hold that plate up? So that's how I turn it. And just recently I've just started turning lots of grooves out, um, out of the plate. So that tends to cut down on the weight a little bit. It also, there's less touch in the shelf. So I find there's less chance of it cracking as it cools down. From my experience anyway. So to compress that base, <coughs> again, <coughs> again I'd use this, I'd use the curved side of it. So I really push that quite hard, going backwards and forwards, getting that really tight and compacted. And that, that's a metal rib, is it? 
No, I'm not sure what this is. It's like a kind of plastic. Okay, hard yeah, plastic. But it's hard, yeah. When I pull up the walls of a plate this wide, I'll pull it up vertically first. So if I pull it out, as soon as it goes out, there's no bringing it back. So bring most of the weight up, straight up first. And really slow that wheel down. I'll torch this just a bit before I stretch it out kind of flat because it will just sit on itself. Undercut that first. If I can find my tool. I keep going. Yeah, yeah, closer to the pan. <coughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'll undercut the the side first before I push it down and I'm not able to get to it. this out straight side of this and just gently push it down and my fingers supporting underneath.
that's about as far as we can take that. That's that.